Shalom, call Akim. I want to start off by giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Kahalal, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha HaKudash, and the name of the Holy Spirit. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the tabernacle of David, whom Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai is raising up in these last days. Shalom. This is Matthew's chapter 5. I'm going to start at verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Okay. Uh, because Yahweh Bashin Yahweh has given us his uh, word, because Yahweh Bashin Yahweh has revealed unto us his secrets and his prophecies, we are the light of the world. I'm going to come back to that scripture. But first, I'm going to grab this. This is Amos. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, verse 7. Surely the Lord power will do nothing, but he revealeth his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Okay? And how about Shinyal Shai, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, have revealed his mysteries, his secrets unto the hopeful elect. Okay? Therefore, we are the light of the world. We're not in darkness. Okay? We're not in darkness like the whole world. Grab that real quick. This is the book of Isaiah. Chapter 60, verse 1. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall rise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. Okay? The whole world is in gross darkness. They're asleep. They're not awoke. Or aware of the prophecies. They don't know that America is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear missiles. They don't know that Yahweh Bachin Yahsha is about to make his return onto the earth. They don't know that the, there's going to be turmoil throughout the whole globe. War. Pestilence. Famine. Yahweh Bachin Yahsha has revealed that unto us. Therefore, we are the light of the world. When, uh, when the elect comes up to the camps or across a video for the first time, they're being exposed to Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, which is whom is the light. Yahweh Shai is the light. Okay? That's uh the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter twenty-two verse sixteen. I Yahweh Shai have sent my angel to testify unto you these things in the churches. I am the root and the offspring of David and the bright and morning star. Yahweh Shai is the bright and morning star, meaning he's the light. Okay? Yahweh Shai represents the light. And Yahweh Shai has given us his word. Yahweh Bashin Yahweh Shai's word. Therefore, we are the light. We are the light of the world. So, back in Matthew, this is Matthew 5 and 13. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Okay? Yahweh Bashin Yahshua has given us his word, his wisdom, his knowledge, his understanding. Okay? Therefore, we are the light. And we're supposed to push forth that wisdom out to the for, for, to the globe so that the elect can be sealed. Okay, this is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 8, verse 1. Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth the interpretation of a thing? A man's wisdom maketh, maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Okay? Because of this word, because of this wisdom, we, we, we have a glow to us. We have a shine. We are the light. Okay? We are not in darkness. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians. Salakiakim. 1 Thessalonians, chapter 5, starting from the top. But of the times and the seasons, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night. Okay? The day of the Lord is going to be a dark day. Okay? 
the day of the Lord is going to be a dark day. I'm going to come back to the scripture, but I'm gonna, I need to get this. This is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse 20. It says, Shall not the day of the Lord, Yahweh Bashin Yahshai, be darkness and not light, even very dark, and no brightness in it? Okay? So back to 1 Thessalonians. Yahweh, we, we know that the day of the Lord is coming, and that's going to be a very dark day. So it's very crucial that you have your Habashim Shai's word so you can see where you're going. Okay? This is uh, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 1. But the times and the seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Because us hopeful elect, we know that all hell is about to break loose. Every single day we meditate upon the fact that all hell is about to break loose and your Habashim Shai is about to make his return. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so cometh as a thief in the night, okay? Because it's going to be a dark day. When Yahweh Bashin Shah returns, it's going to be a dark, gloomy day. It's going to catch the whole world that is asleep off guard. But not us, because we're watching, we're, and because we're the light. Verse 3, For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them, as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Okay? Uh, all hell is going to break loose. At the peak of their bliss. So people are going to be enjoying um, low victuals. The uh, money. Well, if you look at the uh, stock market right now, it's reaching all-time highs. Things of that nature. But soon, everything's going to come to a to a halt, to an end, to a collapse. Okay? That's why it says, when they shall say peace. Verse 3, 1 Thessalonians 5 and 3. For when they shall say peace and safety... Then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness, that that day should overtake you as a thief. Ye are the children of light and the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Okay? We're the children of the light, man. We're the children of the day. And that in the day represents the kingdom of heaven. Okay? Our conversation uh, is in heaven. If you go into Philippians, you look at Philippians, I'll just grab it. This is uh, Philippians chapter 3, uh, verse 20. For our conversation is in heaven, from whence also we look for the Savior, the Lord, Yahweh HaMashiach. When you look up that word conversation, in the Greek, it's uh, polutimeo and... Uh, the commonwealth of citizens. Okay? If you look at the bottom, it says the commonwealth of citizens. Okay? Citizenship. So our citizenship is in heaven. Okay? So if we're the children, if we're the children of the day, meaning our, our kingdom, the city that we seek for is the kingdom of heaven. Okay? It's not this place. This place is darkness, gross darkness. This is Hebrews 13 and 14. For here have we no continuing city, but we seek one to come. We seek for our kingdom, which we belong unto, okay? Which is Yahweh Bashin Shai's kingdom of righteousness. Um, this is uh, 2 Peter chapter 3, uh, verse... Uh, Salakia. Where in dwelleth righteousness. Salakia. This is a uh, Second Peter's three and thirteen. Nevertheless, we, according to his promise, look for new heavens and a new earth wherein dwelleth righteousness. Okay? We're uh we're looking for we're looking for we're looking for our kingdom. We're looking for Yahweh Shai's kingdom to be established. A place that dwelleth righteousness. Okay, this is first Thessalonians chapter five, verse five. Ye are the children of light, the children of the day. We are not of the night nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as do others, but let us watch and be sober. 
Okay? We're not going to get caught up into the... Let's not get caught up into the world and the things that this dark world has to offer. Okay? Because what we want is in the, the city to come. For they that sleep in the night... For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Okay? For they that sleep, read verse 7 again. For they that sleep, sleep in the night. And they that be drunken are drunken in the night. Okay? So we're not supposed to... Be drunk off of uh, folly, you know, the, the, the lust of the flesh, the things and the fashions of this world, because it's going to pass away. That's for, that's for uh, the people of the night. We're the children of the day. It says, but let us, verse 8, but let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love and for a helmet, the hope of salvation. Okay. We're supposed to be sober, waiting for our Lord, Yahweh Bashin Yashai, to make his return so that we can dwell in, in, in the new kingdom. Okay? I'm going to end it on this scripture right here. This is the book of uh, Second Ezra, the second chapter, and the 14th verse. Salakia, 13th verse. It says, go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. The, the kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. I'm going to read that again. Second Ezra 2 and 13. Go and ye shall receive. Pray for a few days unto you that they may be shortened. All right. Pray that these days come to a swift end. Why? The kingdom is already prepared for you. Watch. Yahweh Yashai has already has the kingdom of heaven prepared for us. Okay? We just got to sit back, wait for the Lord, and uh, enjoy the fruits thereof. Okay? So, Lord willing, this is an edifying video. Call Halal Yahweh Yashai Bashim Rechak Wadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Shalom to the hopeful elect. Shalom.